I'm at Hubbard Broadcasting today talking to people about being dads and having dads for our Father's Day special. And I'm about to find one of my favorite guests, Alexis Thompson. I'm actually going to sneak surprise her. Alexis! What are you doing in here, girl? Hey! Hi! Getting some work done. Getting some work done? (laughs) Yeah. What can you tell me about your dad? I hit the jackpot with my dad. He's just he's the best. He was always there and a good listener, lots of fun, super awkward in terms of his jokes, but (laughs) that's why you have dad jokes, right? Right. He's the king of dad jokes. He's very kind and he's also very patient. I know math because of my dad. He took the time to teach it in the way that I could absorb it and I actually like math because of him. That's awesome. Yeah. That's actually really awesome. Yeah, he is. How many kids do you have? First? I have two. And how old are they? They are 28 and 24. When your kids get to be that age, you can start to be more of a friend, which you really aren't when they're young. Right. You, when people say, you know, my mom is my, my daughter is my best friend and she's 12. No, you can be friendly towards a 12-year-old, but she's not your best friend. You're a parent. Right. And therein lies the difference. But when they get to be 24 and 28, soon to be 25 and 29, you're still the dad, but there's a little bit more of that friendship aspect of it also because I'm sharing more of my life with them. Does that make sense? That's awesome. Okay. Yes. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get there. You know, it's, it's really not rocket science. You do have to kind of just use your head and use some good common sense. And you figure it out along the way. You really do. Best advice ever. Thank, Thank you. you. What is your favorite part about being a dad? Watching my kids play sports. Um, it takes a while until they get to be five, six, seven years old, and then you start coaching them, and then that's all you do. So, But it's the most fun. It's gratifying. It's rewarding. It's You get to spend time with them, especially my 15-year-old who wants nothing to do with me now that he's 15 that and happen? he's a teenager. Did yeah. Other than sports, so that's what keeps us together and keeps us talking about things. So that's actually really valuable. Rocco, you have one little boy. Yeah, six-year-old. A Bruno. six-year-old. Yeah. Bruno. Yeah. Awesome. What's your favorite part about being a dad? I like just kind of, kind of reliving my childhood with them, playing, learning, uh, having fun, and being a kid again, like with him and through him and doing all that stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. One time we went to a, um, a Timberwolves game and Belle Biv DeVoe was playing at halftime and they were like I, somebody I liked when I was a kid and Bruno happened to like their music. And we were walking to the parking lot and we saw him out in the street getting their picture taken out front of uh, of First Ave. And I was like, oh my gosh, can we get your pic- our picture with you guys? And here it is. Here's Belle Biv DeVoe and my son. <gasps> and I was like, yeah, that was crazy. That's awesome. Kids' imaginations are so amazing. So when you're playing with them and you you guys think up of a fun game and you're doing something together and you guys can play for hours, like it's can't get better than that. It can't get better than yeah, that. Yeah, it's great. Every dad has like a trick up his sleeve. What is yours? I have a hidden talent of balloon animals. And my kids don't quite know I do it, because if they did, they'd just be telling me to make a, a dog all the time or something like that. Uh, but I I do know how to make balloon animals. What if I don't oh. believe you? Here you go. <laughs> oh, these are good ones. All right, ready? So here's my trick I always do. So the key is, if they ask for something really fancy, like a dragon or like a, a penguin or something like that, you always tell them, don't you want a sword? Because the sword <laughs> is the easiest thing to do. And if they break the sword, you can teach them how to use the sword. So I always, because and the key is too, if you know the art of balloon making. Which I don't, but uh, okay. Once you make one sword, you make a thousand swords and it's the easiest thing. So okay. sword, right, 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 here's how you do a sword. Oh. It's happening right here. Boom, all right, ready? Quick and easy sword. You do one twist and go through. And little Jimmy couldn't be happier. Look at that. And then every kid wants a sword. And that's all you got to do. And you can sit back and enjoy yourself. Don't show them. If you make one dragon, you're making like 20 dragons. Do you know how to make a dragon? I do, but I'm not going to show you a dragon because everyone in here is going to want a dragon. You're actually coming back on the happy house and you're going to make some dragons. I will. (laughs) All right, I'll show you how to do a drag. My signature piece, and Alexis Thompson knows this, is my balloon monkey hat. A monkey hat is 
That's great. The monkey hat wins. Thank you so much. For Thank you, Happy. See you guys. Bye.